Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do this. No strings attached, no bullshit details, just, uh, just blunt honesty. I get that I'm young, I get that you're young. Adults are gonna say I don't understand and this isn't love, but what gives them the right to know how I feel? And maybe I don't know what love is, but whatever type of feeling I'm having for you seems like what movies make it out to me. I find myself always thinking about you, and whatever I do, I can't stop smiling. Uh, I know your friends might think that what I'm saying or I'm describing this as weird or even creepy sounding, but there's just a lot of things that I want to say to you, and I might not get another chance to say it in the way that I want you to hear it, which is like this. How I see it, you have a certain amount of opportunities in life to be happy. Some kids miss them, and some adults miss them too. May they be joining the football team or singing a small gig at some random place. They're really easy to miss, and you can't blame people who do. You see, these little things can become much bigger things eventually. Maybe from watching this, you'll see how I think that you're one of those opportunities for my happiness. Uh, I guess it's okay to say now that the anonymous signed letters with compliments for you are from me. I've only really made those two letters because I realized that it might be sort of insanely scary and creepy for you just because you might think that some soccer got your address. I'm sorry for any scares, I, I just thought you should know that you're wonderful. Oh, and I, I promise I'll tell you all this in person if you don't see this. Uh, it's just scary for me. Um, I probably couldn't get all this out while looking you in the eye. I'm probably just nervously sweating, fog up my glasses. Then I'll have to change the subject and say I'm only sweating because I just finished gym class or some other retarded excuse. I guess this is kind of stupid in a way already. Not at all referring to what I've said about you. Everything I've already managed to pry out of myself is probably the most serious stuff I've ever said in my life. No, I I'm referring to my setup here. Just staring at my camera here in my messy bedroom full of comic superheroes. But, uh, that's the thing with you. You don't think it's stupid. I guess I don't actually think it is either. Um, I just think I have to pretend like I don't like these childish things so you'll like me. It's not how you work. You care about what others like, so they'll care about what you truly like, too. And that's how the best relationships are made. Uh, I, I don't know if you've seen any of the videos that I post. Uh, they're slightly insane. Most are just me dancing around and using my highest energy in the camera. Since you know me in real life, you also know that, um, that that's just me already. And obviously the storyboards are made up, but the characters' personalities relate to my own in a way. I just wanted to say that so much of my energy comes from my passion to make you laugh. I don't really know how to show you my love. Uh, I don't know if I just tell you like what I'm doing now. If I give you my comedy videos or if I just kiss you. I tried writing a song for you too. Um, I worked on it all night and uh, well it, it ended up being pretty shit. I only did it because I heard that girls like guys who play music. Um, I know that's obviously not true for all girls but I figured I'd try it for you since there's not much I can give you. As a Cajun thing. Just a killer come to call from some awful dream Oh, I know you folks, you come to see You just stand there in the glass I don't have a lot of money, I don't have a job I, I mean, I know we're still young and I don't need a job yet, but other kids are getting jobs 
I don't have a lot of ideas for a career, and I don't have a lot of ideas for post-secondary. I'm just hoping that you can look past this stuff and realize that I'll do whatever it takes to keep money steady to keep you happy when we're out. I want to grow old with you if you'd like to with me. As the days go by, I'm pretty sure you're making me lose my mind. I heard some guy who looked like he was in grade 11 talking about the things that he would do to you if you dated him. I was laughing with his buddies, just nasty and disrespectful shit. Something in me spiked, I can't even explain it. I couldn't really see straight when he said it. So I walked over to him and I punched him in the gut. I think I saw some sort of move like that in, well, uh, basically any sci-fi movie I've watched. It uh, didn't turn out well for me anyway. I caught my ass beat. I, uh, I guess his friends didn't find what he said very offensive because they, they all got in their punches. Prom's coming up. Um, I don't know if you have someone to go with yet. Uh, I'd imagine lots of guys have already asked you. I would like to be one of those guys, but I haven't exactly worked up the courage yet. I want to do it in some sort of special way. I've been practicing my slow dancing too, just in case you say yes. I hope they actually play slow songs at the dance. I'm kind of nervous that they'll only play heavy drum and bass rap songs. I just like the idea of losing track of everyone and everything else for two or four minutes with you in my arms. We don't need to kiss or nothing either. I mean, that uh, that's, that's up to you. I think having your head rest on my shoulder is just as good, but only if you're happy. I guess bottom line is this. Call it what you want, whether it be love, attraction, a huge crush, delight, amity, whatever. I have it for you. By the time you see all this, uh, Prom will be over, I think. Uh, it's tomorrow. Um, which means that I already asked you if you wanted to go with me. I think I might just be upfront with asking you. Maybe go to your door with some flowers. Uh, I can't lie. I uh, I really hope you said yes. Oh, but it's totally fine if you didn't. Um, I won't take it to heart. I'll, I'll get past it. I just hope that one day you'll see how great we can be together. Because I swear... Because I swear to you that I'll never hurt you. Tonight.